Hello, my fellow thinkers and seekers of wisdom, and welcome to Quotable Skeptic. I am your content creator, and before we delve into our video, I'd like to share something unique about this space. I craft articles on atheist quotes and also share my own thoughts with the assistance of ChatGPT. However, Quotable Skeptic is more than just an ordinary channel. Here, you'll find a perspective driven by curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. I'm an atheist and a person with cerebral palsy, which affects my ability to speak properly and use my hands. Nonetheless, I can still operate my computer, phone, and other devices using my toes. I rely on my family for assistance, and regrettably, I never had the opportunity to attend school because most schools in India do not admit individuals who are completely dependent on others. That's why you hear AI voices in my videos. Together, we will explore the realms of atheism, philosophy, and critical thinking. It's a journey of discovery and reflection, guided by the belief that intellectual pursuit knows no bounds. I'm excited to have you join me on this path of exploration. Now, let's dive into our next thought-provoking topic on Quotable Skeptic. Before we delve into our video article, it's essential to acquaint ourselves with the life and ideas of Victor J. Stenger. Victor J. Stenger, 1946-2014, was an American physicist and author. He was a vocal critic of religion and New Age beliefs, and a strong advocate of science and rationalism. Stenger was born in Bayonne, New Jersey, and grew up in a devout Catholic family. He attended St. Michael's College in Vermont, where he studied physics and philosophy. After graduating, he went on to earn a PhD in physics from the University of Rochester, Stenger's early career was focused on particle physics research. He worked at the University of Hawaii, the University of Utah, and the University of Colorado. In the early 1980s, he became interested in the philosophy of science and the relationship between science and religion. He began writing and speaking on these topics, and he quickly became one of the most prominent atheist voices in the United States. Stenger's early career was focused on particle physics research. He worked at the University of Hawaii, the University of Utah, and the University of Colorado. In the early 1980s, he became interested in the philosophy of science and the relationship between science and religion. He began writing and speaking on these topics, and he quickly became one of the most prominent atheist voices in the United States. Stenger's atheism was based on his belief that the natural world can be fully explained by science, without recourse to the supernatural. He was a strong critic of creationism and intelligent design, arguing that these theories are not supported by scientific evidence. He also criticized New Age beliefs, such as astrology and homeopathy, as being pseudoscience. Stenger was a prolific author. He wrote over a dozen books on science, philosophy, and atheism. Some of his most popular books include God, The Failed Hypothesis, 2007, Uninformed, Why People Believe Things That Aren't True, 2008, The Fallacy of Fairness, Why It's Never Too Late to Do the Right Thing, 2009, Has Science Found God, The Latest Results in the Search for Purpose in the Universe, 2011, The God Channel, How Religion Uses Media to Control Your Mind, 2012. Stenger was also a frequent speaker on atheism and science. He gave lectures at universities, colleges, and atheist conferences all over the world. He was a popular guest on radio and television shows, and he was often quoted in the media. Stenger's atheism was not without its critics. Some religious believers accused him of being intolerant of religion and of misrepresenting scientific evidence. However, Stenger was always willing to engage in respectful dialogue with his critics. He was a passionate advocate for science and reason, and he believed that everyone deserves to know the truth about the natural world. Stenger died of cancer in 2014 at the age of 67. He left behind a legacy of atheism and science advocacy. He is remembered as a brilliant physicist, a clear thinker, and a courageous voice for reason.
Title, The Divergence of Paths, Science and Religion, Introduction, Victor J. Stenger, a prominent figure in the realm of science, boldly encapsulated the stark divergence between two fundamental forces that have shaped human history, science and religion. His thought-provoking quote draws a sharp distinction between the progressive journey of science, symbolized by humanity's footsteps on the moon, and the regressive tendencies within some religious ideologies, vividly illustrated by the tragic events of September 11, 2001. In this article, we will explore the multifaceted implications of Stenger's perspective, delving into the chasm that separates the pursuit of knowledge from the clutches of dogma. Science the path to understanding, science, as Stenger elegantly puts it, flies you to the moon. It is the embodiment of human curiosity, a relentless quest for understanding the universe. Science is founded on the principles of empirical evidence, critical thinking, and peer-reviewed experimentation. It is the reason why we have stepped onto the lunar surface and peered into the depths of the cosmos. Science has propelled us forward, providing answers to age-old questions and opening new doors of inquiry. Throughout history, scientific discoveries have enriched human existence in countless ways. Medicine, technology, and agriculture have progressed, improving the quality of life for people around the globe. It is science that has enabled us to harness the power of electricity, develop vaccines, and communicate instantaneously across vast distances. It stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity, transcending borders and beliefs. Religion, a double-edged sword, on the other side of the chasm, Stenger's quote highlights a more somber facet of human existence. While religion has undoubtedly provided solace, community, and moral guidance to countless individuals, it has also, at times, been instrumental in perpetuating ignorance and intolerance. The reference to flying into buildings conjures the painful memory of religious extremism that led to the horrific acts of 9-11. This serves as a stark reminder that, in the name of faith, some have been driven to commit acts of violence that defy the very essence of religion, peace and love, the power of religion, often deeply rooted in tradition and sacred texts, can be harnessed in diverse ways. While for many, it remains a source of spiritual sustenance, Others employ it to manipulate and control the masses, to breed division, and to justify unspeakable acts. Stenger's quote encourages us to reflect on the darker implications of religious fervor. The path forward, harmony or discord, Stenger's words challenge us to consider the two distinct paths before us. We have a choice, to embrace the wondrous journey of science, where the pursuit of knowledge continues to uplift humanity, or to navigate the labyrinth of religion with wisdom and discernment. The goal is not to pit science against religion, but to encourage their coexistence in a harmonious manner, it is essential to understand that science and religion are not mutually exclusive. Countless scientists find inspiration in their faith, seeing their spiritual beliefs as a source of moral and ethical guidance. However, the separation of church and state, the acknowledgement of empirical evidence, and the cultivation of critical thinking are paramount. In conclusion, Victor J. Stenger's quote serves as a stark reminder that our world is shaped by two formidable forces, science and religion. The future lies in our hands as we tread the path of progress, and it is our collective responsibility to navigate these paths wisely. By nurturing scientific curiosity, fostering critical thinking, and promoting tolerance, we can bridge the chasm between these two powerful influences, seeking a world where the moon can be reached while religious differences are celebrated in the spirit of unity, love, and compassion. The choice is ours, and it will define the course of our collective journey. What we can learn from this article, 1. The Divergence of Science and Religion the article highlights the stark divergence between science and religion, symbolized by Victor J. Stenger's quote. It emphasizes the contrasting paths these two fundamental forces have taken in shaping human history. 2. Science as a path to understanding, science is portrayed as a progressive journey of human curiosity, founded on empirical evidence, critical thinking, and peer-reviewed experimentation. It has led to profound discoveries, technological advancements, and an improved quality of life for people around the world. 3. 
Religion as a double-edged sword, religion is described as a double-edged sword, capable of providing solace, community, and moral guidance but also being instrumental in perpetuating ignorance and intolerance. Stenger's reference to tragic events, such as 9-11, serves as a reminder of the potential for religious extremism to lead to violence. 4. The Power of Religion The article emphasizes the deep-rooted power of religion, often tied to tradition in sacred texts. It can be harnessed in diverse ways, from promoting peace and love to manipulating and controlling the masses. 5. The Path Forward Stenger's words challenge us to consider the two distinct paths before us, embracing the journey of science and navigating the realm of religion with wisdom and discernment. The article encourages the coexistence of science and religion in a harmonious manner, acknowledging the importance of critical thinking, empirical evidence, and the separation of church and state. 6. Collective Responsibility The article concludes by stressing that the future of our world is shaped by the choices we make. It calls for nurturing scientific curiosity, fostering critical thinking, and promoting tolerance to bridge the gap between science and religion. The ultimate goal is a world where scientific progress and religious differences can coexist in unity, love, and compassion, defining the course of our collective journey. It encourages readers to reflect on the roles of science and religion in society and consider how these two forces can complement each other while respecting the values of reason, tolerance, and unity. As we reach the conclusion of this insightful journey, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for being a part of Quotable Skeptic. Your curiosity and engagement mean the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Remember, sharing is caring. If you found value in our discussions, sharing this channel with your fellow truth seekers would be greatly appreciated to both those who have been with us from the beginning and those who have just joined. Thank you for being a part of this incredible community. Your support makes the pursuit of knowledge and critical thinking all the more rewarding. Until we meet again, stay curious, stay rational, and always keep seeking the truth. You can also join my WhatsApp channel and follow me on Instagram. Both links are available in the description and pinned comment. This is Quotable Skeptic, signing off.